Today, I want to talk about something deeply personal that many stroke survivors experience, the crisis of meaning in stroke recovery. When a stroke happens, it turns your life upside down. You're suddenly faced with a reality you never expected, physical challenges, cognitive impairments, and the emotional toll that comes with it. But there's something else that often gets overlooked, and that's the crisis of meaning. It's that moment when you wonder, why did this happen to me? What's the point of all this? For me, after my strokes, I found myself grappling with these exact questions. Before the stroke, life had a certain flow. I had plans, dreams, and a sense of who I was. But after the stroke, I felt like I'd lost my identity. My body didn't work the same, my mind was slower, and emotionally, I was all over the place. In hindsight, this was the beginning of what I now recognize as my journey towards post-traumatic growth, though it didn't feel like it at the time. In the early days of recovery, the physical challenges demand so much attention that it's easy to ignore the deeper existential questions. You're focused on walking again, regaining the use of your hand, or even just getting out of bed. But as the months go by, and the adrenaline fades, the deeper, more philosophical questions emerge. For me, it was around the four-year mark when I started asking, what now? I'd spent so much time just trying to heal physically, but no one had prepared me for the emotional and mental scars. I wasn't the same person anymore. The things that used to bring me joy didn't seem to matter as much, and I found myself in a space where nothing felt meaningful. I remember thinking, is this all my life is going to be from now on? Endless doctor's visits, therapy, and trying to get back to some version of my old self. That's when the crisis of meaning really hit. But what I didn't realize at the time was that this questioning was the seed of change, the start of something new. Many stroke survivors talk about this sense of loss, not just the loss of physical abilities, but the loss of identity and purpose. Who are you now? that your life has taken this massive detour? How do you rebuild when the future you envisioned no longer seems possible? These are the questions that led me to discover something unexpected, post-traumatic growth. The first glimpse I had was a new appreciation for life. For a long time, I was stuck in that place of searching for meaning, but eventually I started to realize something important. The meaning I was searching for wasn't going to come from trying to return to who I was before. It had to come from embracing who I was now and what I was becoming. This is where the concept of post-traumatic growth, growth through adversity, really started to resonate with me, even before I had the words for it. It wasn't easy and it didn't happen overnight, but slowly I began to see that my stroke didn't just take things away. It also gave me something. It gave me the opportunity to reassess my life and values and what truly mattered to me. I began to notice that I had a deeper appreciation for the little things, being able to walk, the support of my family, and even just the beauty of a sunset. This new profound appreciation for life was one of the first signs of my post-traumatic growth. I also found that my relationships deepened. Before the stroke, I often took people for granted, but after... I realized how much I depend on the people around me. My stroke brought me closer to those who cared, and that strengthened my relationships with others in ways I never expected. I realized that I wasn't going through this alone, and the sense of connection brought new meaning to my recovery. In the midst of all the challenges, I also began to see new possibilities. Sure, I couldn't do everything I used to, but there were new doors opening. I could use my experience to help others. I could create a new sense of purpose by sharing my story, connecting with the other stroke survivors, and raising awareness about stroke recovery. What once seemed like a limitation turned into an opportunity. Another domain of post-traumatic growth is discovering personal strength. As stroke survivors, we go through immense physical and emotional trials, and that can reveal a resilience we never knew we had. For me, the crisis of meaning led to understanding just how strong I could be in the face of adversity. Each day I chose to continue my recovery was a testament to that strength. Lastly, my stroke journey also led me to spiritual change, or more broadly, a deeper sense of purpose and connection. It wasn't necessarily about religion, but about feeling more connected to something greater than myself. 
I found that helping others was what gave me a sense of meaning and fulfillment. This realization helped me move from asking, why did this happen to me, to what can I do with this experience? If you're going through your own crisis of meaning in stroke recovery, I want to remind you that it's okay to feel lost. It's okay to not have all the answers right away. This is part of the journey, and it may even be the start of your post-traumatic growth. But I also want to encourage you to look for the meaning in the mess. It might not be obvious at first, and it might not be the meaning you expected, but it's there. Maybe it's the way you're able to appreciate the small victories in recovery. Maybe it's the connections you make with others who understand your struggle. Or maybe, like me, you'll find purpose in helping others navigate their own path after stroke. The crisis of meaning can be a turning point. It can be what leads you to discover a new version of yourself, one that's stronger, more resilient, and more attuned to what truly matters in life. So if you're in that space right now, know that you're not alone and this is just one part of your recovery journey. The meaning will come, and when it does, it can be one of the most powerful tools in your healing. Thanks again for watching and listening. If what I shared today resonates with you, and you're looking to dive deeper into finding meaning after stroke, I've written a book titled The Unexpected Way That a Stroke Became the Best Thing That Happened. It's not just my story. This book also shares the recovery journeys of nine other stroke survivors and how we all discovered post-traumatic growth. Through our experiences, you'll find practical steps to help you recover physically, mentally, and emotionally, and most importantly, rediscovering meaning and purpose after a stroke. You can get your copy by following the link in the description below. It's a powerful resource that I believe will help you on your journey to finding meaning and reclaiming your life after stroke. Remember to subscribe for more content on stroke recovery, post-traumatic growth, and finding hope in the process. Take care.